Democrats aren't just fighting President Trump's immigration policies on the southern border, they're also renewing the fight against his travel ban. Lawmakers have introduced a bill that would overturn the president's executive order, denying certain travelers from seven countries, five of which are Muslim-majority nations, from entering the U.S. We do not judge aspiring Americans on their religion or nationality. Congresswoman Judy Chu, who is leading the bill through the House, says the bill will repeal all three iterations of the ban and the asylum ban and extreme vetting and change the laws so these types of orders can't happen again. It would also add religious protections to the Immigration and Nationalities Act non-discrimination clause and add strict restrictions should anyone be barred. It has nothing to do with national security and everything to do with instilling fear of the Muslim community. The number of refugee admissions is at an all-time low under this administration, 30,000, compared to the 110,000 admitted in 2016 under the Obama administration. Rabbi Jonah Pesner, head of the Religious Action Center, reminded the crowd Wednesday morning that this could happen to any race or faith in the future. We know if you target one religious minority, you threaten all religious minorities, so we have to show up for each other. So when I think about all of the refugees, all these children and families who are seeking a better life, this is our story and this is who we need to be. And while the lower courts did initially oppose the president's executive order, his case did make it here to the Supreme Court. And just last year, a majority of justices did uphold the president's travel ban. Every Democratic senator running for president in 2020 is also supporting the bill. But the likelihood of this bill actually becoming law is not great. And as long as we don't have Republican co-sponsors, it will not get through the Senate. Uh, but given the visibility of this um, hateful ban in President Trump's campaign, and in the first year of his administration. Uh, I am uh, hopeful but not optimistic um, that we will have a number of Republican co-sponsors. After the nation's highest court ruled in their favor, the Trump administration said, in this era of worldwide terrorism and extremist movements bent on harming innocent civilians, we must properly vet those coming into our country. They also said they would continue to fight for an immigration system that serves the national interest of the United States and its citizens. They said our country will always be safe, secure, and protected under the president's watch. Congresswoman Chu says the House Judiciary Committee will hold hearings on the legislation in June.